Taiwan Tech Arena, a startup incubator established in 2018, is aiming to help entrepreneurs go global. Over the past few years, Taiwan has seen an explosion in successful startups in a wide variety of fields, from meditech to plant-based food. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang spoke to some of the startup founders to learn about their innovations. Take the phone and scan your face. Once the phone detects your features, it is able to measure vital signs such as heart rate, blood pressure, breathing rate, oxygen saturation, and stress index. This tech company uses a video-based technology to measure vital signs. It has a database of more than 76 million verified records from clinical trials conducted in hospitals and other medical institutions in Taiwan and in the U.S. Every time our heart pumps, our face turns a slightly bit red uh, because of, of the capillaries. And um, our eyes can't see it, but a camera can. And using the slight fluctuations in the redness of our face, uh, we can derive um, the oxygen level, the blood pressure, um, heart rate, and um, heart rate variability. But this actually came from um, Jiafeng Dashi, from a very famous AIT here in Taiwan. And um, once we got the face detection and face tracking uh, technology, um, we decided to incorporate uh, physiological data in order to um, detect vital signs without uh, without touching the patient, um, because uh, which is very important in, in pandemic times. Plant-based burgers, steamed mock pork buns, and more. This food tech startup aims to make plant-based food even tastier. With their processing technology, they create vegan fats in hopes of making plant-based food juicier and healthier. A very new processing technology that we find out in Cornell. So actually nobody really bring it to larger scale or onto the market before. So the difficulty is how do we scale it up and how do we apply into different type of plant-based meat. Like patty is one way, but for example, steak, bacon, or in Taiwan we love pork belly. So there are so many different applications, so we have to try it out and do a lot of R&D. Are you a coffee lover? This AI brewing coffee robot allows people to enjoy specialty coffee with just a swipe of a finger. To build its AI-powered hand-drip coffee machine, the R&D team spent two years working closely with professional award-winning baristas to learn about hand-brewing techniques. First, the barista do the brewing, the pour-over brewing on this machine. And this machine will automatically recall all the detail of the pour-over process. Then uh, the process becomes the formatted into an IP. So uh, over the internet, then all the machine can get the IP, then do the pour-over process according to the IP. So uh, a consumer, when a consumer comes over to this machine, they just uh, uh, order the copy through this uh, touch panel. Taiwan Tech Arena offers co-working and event spaces designed for tech innovation. The arena brings together academics, R&D talents, accelerators, startups, and investors. We established GDA here and uh, include uh, nine international accelerators here. They provide a coaching courses and venture capital to help Taiwan startups. So we help uh, aggregate such kind of resources to help uh, startups in Taiwan. They also invited uh, startups from overseas to start their business in Taiwan. Uh, one of the, of the main uh, opportunity of collaboration or cooperation that Taiwan can have with uh, my country is and technology, uh, not only because of the importance of technology and the world, but uh, because uh, particularly of what Taiwan represents as a technological country. TTA aims to cultivate a cross-border deep technology startup ecosystem and foster commercialization for entrepreneurs so that businesses can shine on the international stage. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Shi Bohan in Taipei.